this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part um, 20 of the bathroom tutorial. Um, first, we're going to want to apply Mesh Smooth to this uh, light we're working on. Let me find the ends, that is. Mesh Smooth, there we go. Immediately, you can see that we have this thing in here. It looks kind of like sun or something. And to uh, get rid of that, you just go to the polygons here, and just simply inset it. That usually will fix the problem. Um, let's see if it did. Not entirely. So let's inset it once more. Alright. And a four, and there we go. Problem is solved. Alright. So now we have our light, which fits pretty nice in here, too. Um, so let's set this all. Group light two. Okay, and then unhide all. Rotate this light ninety degrees. Then we go figure out um, how big this light is. So this is uh, seven inches in diameter, so it means it's three point five in radius. So the top view just create a cylinder radius of three point five. Select our light here and just scale it down. Alright. And a little bit more. Place it on top. And a bit up. There we go, we have our light. We can delete this cylinder here. And let's move our light into place. So select it. And let's give it a black material first. Okay. And then our black wireframe will give it a gray material. I'm actually rendering out um, another one of these videos for YouTube or whatever, so that's a bit slow, unfortunately. And this light goes in the corner. Okay, drag it up. Make it similar to these ones. So, make a box, and make it, let's see here, 13 inches long, put that against the back wall, well I'm apparently on a spree, I forgot to press record again. Um, but what I did was, I just moved this thing into position here, made a box, aligned it to the wall, it is um, 13 inches from this wall over here, and then shift drag this, or shift rotate, and it is 12 inches from the other wall. Up, and then just delete the boxes after moving it. Now I'm just seeing what part I want to do next. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, make these sides a bit skinnier, and then we'll work on the uh, shower head. So first, select this piece. Alright, um, F3, and just shrink it a bit. to about shower head. 
So go in here for view mode. In the front, Alt B, in the files. And you're gonna want to choose and actually go here. And you're gonna want to choose the uh, shower head two. Maximize this, select everything, and hide selection. We're going to start with a cylinder. It's the same general size as this one. Rotate it 90 degrees. And then just bring it back to about the middle, I guess. Increase the height of it. Um, go into your 4 view mode. this to an editable poly. Select the polygon and bevel. Let's start beveling. And actually we want to bevel the other side. We're going to eventually uh, put a mesh smooth on this so it'll all be good. this part. I'll see you in the next